Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Eye YouTube channel and welcome to our Teaser Week. I hope you'll stick around and see what that means. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. So like I mentioned in the intro, this is our Teaser Week here on my YouTube channel. And what is our Teaser Week, you may say? Let me tell you. Last month, I was contacted by Arteza to see if I would like to try out some of their products and share videos here on my channel. Well, some of you might already know that I already have some of their projects and love them. I love the price and the quality. So when they contacted me, I said, yes, of course, I would love to. Since I already have their colored pencils and their Everblend alcohol ink markers, I asked if I could have the watercolor pencils to feature, thinking that I had been eyeing them anyway and I would love to try them out. So I was very pleasantly surprised when she said of course and wanted to know if I would like to try their real brush pens and one of their watercolor pads. Now make sure to keep watching because this watercolor pad is super special. I'm excited to give it a try. So over the next week, I'll be sharing some projects using these products, but today I'm going to be sharing with you the first look at what I received, and I have some special shopping links below and a limited time discount code. So if you want to try out anything you see today or any of their other awesome products, you can do that and save 10%. That code is in the description box below, along with shopping links for the U.S. and Europe. The first product that I received were the watercolor pencils that I requested. They are the expert level from the line, and there are 72 of them. They come in this awesome tin, and it has a hinge up here, so I am not going to separate the lid from the tin and lose it somehow, because I wouldn't put that past me. Printed on the lid of the tin are the color names, the color numbers, and a little look at what the colors look like. Now I will end up making my own swatch chart just so I know what the, each color is going to look like on the paper that I will use. But this is a nice reference chart. And then here at the bottom it also tells you the color fastness code that is on each pencil. In the tin are three trays of 24 colored pencils. Right now it doesn't look like they're in any like specific order. So what I will probably do later is maybe put them in number order if that's not what they're in now. Each pencil is already pre-sharpened, but it is a blunt tip, which for watercolor pencils, since I have tested them out just a little bit, I don't think is going to be a problem. I have heard that these sharpen very nicely and the lead doesn't break, so that is awesome. On each pencil, it shows the name, the number, and how light fast it is according to the chart on the top of the tin. I really like how these words are nice and big. So when I put them back later, if I actually put them so the name and the number are up, that is going to help a lot. The barrels themselves are six-sided, so they won't roll around on the desk when I'm using them. I do love that. Each tray has these two pinch grips on the side. I will say that it wasn't super easy to get them out, so I might try to figure out something that will help me lift these later. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and try these out on some paper. I will be testing these out today on a Canson lightweight watercolor paper. This is 90 GSM. I did go ahead and borrow the water pen from the real brush markers just so I can blend these. Let's go ahead and look at some of these colors. This first one is Pumpkin Orange A112, and I'm going to try it first just coloring straight onto here and then blending it out. Mm -hmm. 
The color looks pretty comparable to the pencil barrel itself and it didn't take a lot of pressure and it did blend out nicely. Now another thing I know you can do with these is you take your water brush to the pencil tip. So let's try that. The color on this seems to be a little bit more muted, but I love the nice smooth gradient I get when I blend that out. Up on the top one, you still can kind of see where I colored those original lines, but I think that that is actually just part of watercolor pencils from what I've been seeing. But I really do love this effect. Let's try another color just for consistency to see how they compare. This one is a G in Blue A506. I think that this will probably be my favorite way to use these pencils when I'm coloring in an image. I love how it blends out so smoothly and it's like I have a 72 watercolor palette here with all these pencils. If you want to check out this product, I will have it linked in the description box below. Again, I have links for the US site and the UK site. The next product in my package was the 48 Real Brush Pens. So there are four trays of 12 pens in there and it does come with a water brush. On the back of the box is a color chart with the names and numbers, but once again, I will create my own when I figure out what kind of paper I want to use these on. These markers also have the name and number on the side. It is pretty little though. I would like it probably slightly larger because I'm 43 and I swear my eyes get worse every year. At the end, there is a color tip that will show you what color it is. We will test it out and see how true to color that is. And then there is a nice brush tip on this end. I do have a couple sets of real brush pens and I love to use these to color stamped images quickly and easily. So I'm hoping that I love these just as much. Let's go ahead and try them out. To try these, I did get out a few different types of papers. I got out the same watercolor paper I use with the watercolor pencils and I got out a 98 pound mixed media from the same company. And then I also got out a scrap of my 100 pound Bristol Smooth. I just want to see how these work on each of the papers. The color I'm going to try out here is Orange A112. Next, I'll try the Mixed Media from Canson. And then finally, the Bristol Smooth. This is usually my preferred paper for real brush pens. But here's a close up look at each of the three papers. Let's go ahead and try another color. This is Royal Blue A103.
Here's a look at those second colors blended out. I do think it looks a little more smooth this time on the Bristol. I noticed on the mixed media paper, and maybe I saturated the paper too much because this isn't made for a whole lot of water. It kind of goes from a purpley and blends out to a more blue shade. If you want to check out the real brush pens, don't forget I do have links below and I will be back to share creations later this week using these. And last but not least is the DIY frame watercolor pad. I have never heard of something like this before and I know that my daughter is going to try to sneak this out of my craft room. Guess what guys? These sheets after you decorate them or paint on them fold into canvases. If you look on the back here, it says how you're going to do that. Each page inside is pre-perforated and pre-scored. So when you decorate it, you can then fold it into a canvas panel. Now I could not help myself. I had to try one of these out. So let me show you what it looks like when it's folded. Here it is. And even on the back, there are little cuts so you can hang it up with a nail. How ingenious is that? I cannot wait to make a little work of art and share this with you. I did check out their website and they do have other types of media besides watercolor paper. So I will link this below and then you can also check out the other types of paper. Don't forget, there is a special discount code that if you use it before the 22nd, you save 10% on your order. I hope you enjoyed getting a look today at all of the Arteza goodies that I got in. Make sure that if you're not subscribed, you go ahead and click that button below and click on notifications so you know when I come back with my first Arteza project. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.